I'm VC Begley, and these are your news headlines for October the 12th of 2022. Ukraine claims new gains after days of mass Russian strikes. Ukraine said on Wednesday it reclaimed more territory from Russia in the south while welcoming the delivery of Western air defense systems that Kiev said would usher in a new era after mass strikes from Moscow. Alex Jones ordered to pay $965 million for Sandy Hook lives. Jurors ordered conspiracy theorist Alex Jones on Wednesday to pay nearly $1 billion to Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting victims' relatives and an FBI agent who said he turned their loss and trauma into years of torment by promoting that the rampage was a hoax. Yellen worries over adequate liquidity in treasuries. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen cited concerns about the potential for a breakdown in trading of U.S. Treasuries as her department leads an effort to shore up that crucial market. Quote, we are worried about a loss of adequate liquidity in the market, Yellen said on Wednesday in answering questions following a speech in Washington. Outraged Biden team vows consequences for Saudis over OPEC cuts. President Joe Biden voiced his fury with Saudi Arabia over OPEC oil production cuts on Tuesday, accusing the kingdom of allying itself with Russia and vowing to engage with U.S. lawmakers clamoring to punish Riyadh. Quote, there's going to be some consequences for what they've done with Russia, Biden said in an interview with CNN. Congress is eyeing the NOPEC bill. Momentum is building in Congress in support of legislation that would take on the OPEC group of oil-producing nations that just announced cuts in production, likely to help Russia and raise prices within the United States. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer recently floated using the legislation known as NOPEC as one way to respond to the group, which includes Saudi Arabia and Russia. Protesters swarm Los Angeles City Council meeting after audio leak of racist comments. Protesters interrupted a Los Angeles City Council meeting on Tuesday, joining the growing number of calls for the resignation of a councilwoman who made racist comments on a leaked audio recording. Dozens of protesters packed into the Los Angeles City Hall during the council's regularly scheduled meeting. Crimea bridge attack arrest as market in Dantesk region attacked. Russia says it has detained eight people in connection with Saturday's explosion on a key bridge linking Russia to Crimea. Its FSB security service said five of those held were Russians, while the others were Ukrainian and Armenian. It says Kiev was behind the attack, but a Ukrainian official described Russia's investigation as, quote, nonsense. The United Nations General Assembly condemns Russian annexation. The United Nations General Assembly has voted overwhelmingly to condemn Russia's attempts to annex four regions of Ukraine. The resolution was supported by 143 countries, while 35 states, including China and India, abstained. As well as Russia, four countries rejected the vote, namely Belarus, North Korea, Syria, and Nicaragua. 477 stranded whales die on a remote New Zealand island. Some 477 pilot whales have died after stranding themselves on two remote New Zealand beaches over recent days, officials say. The whales beached themselves on the Chatham Islands, which are home to about 600 people and located about 800 kilometers or 500 miles east of New Zealand's main islands. Critical pipeline bringing oil from Russia to Germany springs a leak. A critical pipeline that transports crude oil from Russia to Germany was found to be leaking on Wednesday, just weeks after the suspected sabotage of the Nord Stream pipelines. Germany reported receiving less oil than normal through the Druzba pipeline on Wednesday, less than a day after Poland discovered the leak. 
Unlike the Nord Stream 1 and 2 pipelines, the Druzba leak is thought to be an accident, according to the Polish pipeline operator Pern. NATO countries boost Ukraine's missile defense after massive Russian strikes. Ukraine's NATO-led allies have announced deliveries of advanced air defense weapons to Kiev after a spat of Russian missile strikes. The weaponry promised by the United Kingdom, Canada, France, and the Netherlands includes missiles and radars. The United States earlier made a similar pledge. One high-tech system from Germany is already inside Ukraine. Iranian official admits that student protesters are being taken to psychiatric institutions. As women burn headscarves and cut off their hair in nationwide protest, an Iranian official on Tuesday said that the school students participating in street protests are being detained and taken to mental health institutions. The establishments holding the students, he said, are meant to reform and re-educate the students to prevent, quote, antisocial behavior. Haitians protest against government call for foreign forces. Thousands of people in the crisis-torn Haiti have taken to the streets of the capital Port-au-Prince against the government's decision to seek foreign military assistance to quell gang-related violence with using police tear gas to disperse protesters. Former San Antonio police officer who shot teen in McDonald's parking lot is arrested. A former San Antonio police officer who shot a teenager while he sat in his car in a McDonald's parking lot has been arrested on two counts of assault, police said on Tuesday. The police department filed two counts of aggravated assault by a public servant against the police officer on Tuesday. He was fired two days after the October shooting had happened. Myanmar court extends Aung San Suu Kyi's prison sentence to 26 years. A court in military-run Myanmar has sentenced Aung San Suu Kyi, the country's deposed former leader and Nobel Peace Prize winner, to three additional years in jail for corruption. A source familiar with the case told CNN extending her total prison term to now a total of 26 years. Biden says he has no intention of meeting with Putin at G20 next month. The United States President Joe Biden on Tuesday said he has no intention of meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin at the upcoming G20 summit, but that he would consider talking depending on the topic. Global leaders will gather in Bali, Indonesia next month for the annual summit of major world economies.